Thank you for joining us at XM.com. You're watching today's Daily Market Comment by Rafa Boyajian. I'm Cristina Marujos. Fed Chair Jerome Powell largely stuck to familiar language in his semi-annual testimony before the Senate Banking Committee on Wednesday, repeating his message that the Fed is strongly committed to bringing inflation down. Most market participants expect the Fed to hike rates by another 75 basis points in July, after several FOMC members lined up in recent days to back such a move. However, Powell appeared to keep his options open, refraining from providing specific guidance. But what was more striking for investors was that Powell didn't exactly go out of his way to soothe fears about a possible recession. The overall takeaway from yesterday's hearing and recent speakers is that the Fed will continue to front-load its rate hikes. However, while this may increase the likelihood of a sharp and sudden downturn, one silver lining is that rates may peak sooner. Shares on Wall Street closed marginally lower on Wednesday as investors were unable to shake off worries about the U.S. economy contracting in the upcoming quarters. But neither was there any panic. The S&P 500 would probably have been able to eke out some gains if it wasn't for the energy sector dragging the index lower. Oil prices have been on a downward path for much of June as recession fears have intensified, dampening the demand outlook. However, there is also growing skepticism about how tight supply is, as all the indications are that Russia has been able to redirect its oil shipments from Europe to Asia and other emerging market economies. WTI futures were trading off yesterday's one-month lows on Thursday, but remained within the scope of $100 a barrel. U.S. stock futures, meanwhile, were flat, suggesting mixed sentiment ahead of Powell's second day of testimony later today, this time before the House Financial Services Committee. In Europe, the major indices were pairing earlier losses despite dismal PMI numbers out of the Eurozone. The flash composite PMI for the Euro area fell by an unexpectedly steeper amount in June to 51.9 versus forecasts of 54. The Euro skidded on the data, dipping to around $104.80. UK PMIs, on the other hand, beat expectations, with the composite PMI holding steady at 53.1. This helped sterling to bounce off intraday lows, although it was struggling to get a grip on the $122 handle. Thank you for watching today's Daily Market Comment here at XM.com.